First time I came was 12 years ago to photograph, uh, but I've been living in Paris and going to the grave almost every day for two years. The grave was unmarked for 10 years. He died in 71, and so until 81, there was really nothing there. It was just dirt. And in 81, the doors put on uh, a beautiful bust, a beautiful stone, uh, that over the years got completely ruined, completely desecrated. Uh, the bust ultimately got stolen, you know. Uh, it just looked really horrible. I guess with the movie out and uh, all that, uh, the family finally decided to put a proper stone on it. Uh, the biggest time is uh, July 3rd, the anniversary of his death, because that's during the summer and there's a lot more tourists uh, traveling to Paris anyway. Uh, and each year the crowds are growing larger. You know, there's just hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of people uh, coming over the course of the day and partying. Uh, December 8th, the anniversary of his birth, is a little less crowded. It's winter, it's cold, uh, but people still come from all over the world. People come, I've discovered, uh, with a fantasy to pose naked by the grave. Uh, and they come and there's like 100 people there, you know? Like I talked to one guy that had come all the way from Australia. Uh, to make a picture of himself standing uh, nude by the tomb, and he got there and he couldn't do it. Uh, I've seen Jane Birkin, yeah. uh, which I thought was kind of interesting because of uh, the song, X Fan of the 60s, the Gainsbourg song that she did that mentions Morris. And uh, I think he's a sex symbol for, uh, for everybody, men and women. Uh, and the girls uh, admit it more openly than the men. Uh, obviously, a lot of men come uh, because they want, they would like to be like Morris. And... Cemetery cool and quiet, hate to leave your sacred lay, dread the milky coming of the day. I'd love to stay. I'd love to stay. I'd love to stay.